thing is, you definitely was gonna be at home, but the thing is, I'm supposed to be incarcerated right now. <laughs> oh, oh, say that again. Your phone. Still coming back on, so y'all, they gotta have something to talk about. That, that's exactly what I, I said. Five years, and I've been telling, oh, don't check for me unless you gotta check for me. Uh, like Martel. Yeah, so it has to be something else better to talk about. I mean, so also you think you think no, I ain't gonna say this about own. They 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 paying me, girl. I ain't saying that. I don't, I don't know don't, if own behind this. I, <laughs> oh, hold on, can't hear you. You you're, you're, stay 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 close to your phone because it's not picking up your words. What did you say? I said I do though, because they they're not paying me, so I say what I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, where, where does that, where's this coming from? I've been minding my business for a long time now. But it's almost when Ariane's name get brought up in something, oh, you know, yeah, they needed a big boom on the day of promo day. Y'all, what a tangled web Martel weaves. My goodness, I know he cannot keep his lies straight, okay? Y'all remember this live from last year? This was the day after they were supposed to have been arrested and sent to jail, Martel and AC. Only there was no record of an arrest. Like several YouTubers were online on a Friday night calling, 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 calling um, the jail, getting a confirmation that they had a Martel Holt and that he would show up in the system soon and nothing happened, right? People kept checking online for it. People kept calling the jail. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, next day they show up early morning, do this live. Um, Martel is, you know, making some comment. I think it was AC actually who said, Martel, I've never been on that show. And then Martel says, this was so random and out of order. He said, you're right, girl. You haven't been on that show, huh? And I remember thinking, is this a damn audition tape? Like what is happening here? This felt so out of pocket uh, for various reasons, right? They're trying to prove that they didn't go but also the things that they were saying specifically around the show. You haven't been on the show. Um, you use me to get ratings on the show, right? Um, all of that stuff. You know, we, she always says that the show uses her likeness. And then when things happen that's major against her, she'll say that fake ass show, you guys, that's fake, all of that stuff. Well. I've already said, I've said it a hundred times, like Martel helps to keep this girl in a state of delusion, period. He makes her think that she deserves a place on Love and Marriage Huntsville. He lets her think that they are using her likeness anytime he dogs the hell out of her on national TV, calling her a peasant, saying that he will never marry her. Um, what we just saw, in episode six, the season finale, telling Melody that he deeply regrets from the bottom of his heart what he did to mess up their family. Okay, um, what else did he say? He, he was like, it's all me, it's all me. Everything that I've done to the children, to you, if I wouldn't have done those things, if I wouldn't have done that, then we would still be together right now. We would not be going through this. All of that, that little 45 second clip of the reunion that we saw where Carlos King again asked Martel if he was in a relationship with AC, if he planned to get married. And he said, no, I'm single. Then Marceau said, does she know? Does she know that you're single? And Melody blasts him out again by saying, Martel, that girl is at your house every day that my kids are there period. Like you keep denying it. You keep denying her, but you are with her. And dude, I tell you what, the fact that you allow that girl to give your boss an own network and ultimatum, that is everything. But Carlos King pulled right on in and he said, uh-uh, uh, Martel, as many times as I, if, as I have given you a safety net, as 
Many times if I have saved your life, I mean, y'all know petitions have been written. Um, change.org. People set up a petition at change.org. And when that didn't work, they came for Carlos King and said, Carlos, if you can't get rid of him, then we're going to get rid of you. People have sent emails and letters to Own Network, to Oprah Winfrey. Hell, they even sent it to Gail King. Okay. All of those things. And Martel literally sent his boss a public ultimatum. Make sure that you are following me on all platforms, okay? Uh, hit that like, subscribe, your notification bell, share this video. I go by Diana Rose on everything, and I appreciate all of y'all for rocking with me. So let's get into what Carlos King had to say about all of this, y'all. Check this out. <laughs> I will be addressing the Martell comment on my podcast tour with Melody. Don't worry. I'll address it <clears throat> on live in person. If you don't got your tickets, get them, baby. Me and Melody Cherie, January 21st. Okay. I'll be addressing Mr. Holt then. Yes, honey. Yes. Let me tell y'all something. <clears throat> I don't know. I know. Don't bring me down. I know Special K. We're not going to talk about that. I already addressed it. It's all good. Thank you, Raindrops, for having my back. Because what we do over at the kingdom is reality. I don't listen. Don't get mad at me because your reality ain't what you want it to be, baby. I, I, I show up and work. People mad at me because other people mad at them for what they say. And it's my fault. And Carlos better be addressing whether or not AC filmed for Love and Marriage Huntsville. Because remember, in that audio that leaked, she was never given a release so that they could actually show her image on the show. Um, so that is interesting, but he better address that. He better address whether or not um, his producer asked for Martel's side baby to show up as well, okay? We want to know everything, Carlos. This girl has been saying for literal years that she would have been a star by now if she was you know, able to be on the show and that it was Melody that was stopping her from coming on. But if it wasn't for that, she would be a star. And she literally had Martel send Carlos King an ultimatum, Carlos King and own network, an ultimatum saying they either show his real life or they cannot film him anymore. Now with everything that Martel has lost, Okay, his family, his status in the community, his wealth, his ability to take care of his mama, to feed his children, his ability to take care of himself. Now he is allowing AC to make him lose the only check that he actually has. Uh, that is crazy. Martel literally may have gotten himself fired from Love and Marriage Huntsville on his day off just like Craig from Friday, okay? Uh, I guess you, listen, some people have to learn the hard way and that appears to be what Martel is doing. Uh, there is a YouTuber right now by the name of Damien After Dark. He had some things to say about Martel and Love and Marriage Huntsville. He said that he used to be a producer or um, I think he said a, an associate um, producer on Love and Marriage season, I guess season one and two. And he said that Martell is a liar. He said that um, there are no actors on the show, that the producers do their job. I told you guys that everyone is assigned a producer. I told you guys that before. And that you tell your producer your story, what's going on with you. And then they work to make these stories, you know, match up with the rest of the cast so that we get a show, right? So he said that everything that Martell is trying to pull back by saying that Carlos King forced him to send Melody flowers or to give Melody flowers. He said, that's a damn lie. He said that Martel most likely went to the producers and said, I want my family back. Can you help me? And that 
they told him things that he should do when they got the meeting together with Melody, but that Melody did not know, you know, that Martel was going to say certain things because you don't want to tell the cast what people are going to say. You want them to walk in and you can get a genuine story. That's why when we look at Martel and Melody, we can feel, you know, from the screen what's going on with them as opposed to like a Tisha and Marceau. Every once in a while, Tisha or Marceau may say something that the other didn't rehearse. I'm sorry, Damien. You're going to have to talk to me about Tisha and Marceau's scenes because they do feel rehearsed. But Melody and Martel always seem like they are giving us what is genuinely going on in their you know, thought process when we're watching the show. But it doesn't mean anything. Um, he said at the end of the day, you know, Martel is stupid that he witnessed Martel beg for Melody to come back both on set and off set. So just so people are aware, uh, y'all can go check him out, Damien After Dark. But yeah, again, Martel knew what he was doing when he sent this message, or he knew that it was going to spark a fire. This went viral on all platforms, on all social media accounts, right? Um, he said, I might be getting a phone call to fire me after this comment. Sorry, but you guys aren't going to continue to villainize me, make me out to be an abuser, a stalker, or making it seem like I want Melody back. All of those are lies. Those are clearly things that he was doing. Melody was giving information to her producer about what's going on in her personal life with Martel. And she got the opportunity to bring it back to the show. Um, Martel said, I am done with y'all making it, making my life out to be something it's not. Film my real life or don't film me at all. And um, it looks like Carlos may have said, we were, we're not going to film you at all. I already played you the clip uh, from last night that Carlos said. But y'all, he said he's going to share everything on this reality tour, January 21st. And then if that wasn't bad enough, listen, Carlos did the nicest, nastiest thing you can say to a person. He actually used a clip from Bell Collective to do it. So let's listen to it. And I'm going to talk to y'all in a second. I get ready. Yeah. Yeah. Take care, baby. Okay. I get ready. Yeah. So Tambra tells Marie. Take care, baby, meaning I don't want to hear anything else. I don't care what you are thinking, feeling. I don't give a damn. Take care, baby, is the equivalent of bitch go to hell, okay? Uh, you better know a person's heart if they tell you to take care, baby, because really that is the ultimate goodbye, okay? Uh, so right now, rumor has it that Martel most likely has been shown the door and we will see if that is accurate, okay? Uh, Y'all can talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you believe Martel was shown the door after um, this crazy ass ultimatum. Now let's switch gears again, you guys. Let's talk about this one right here. Kiki Jabbar, I have some audio that was not played on her IG page that I want to uh, talk to you guys about. But first, do y'all remember um, season three reunion, season three period, Melody and Tisha seemed to be cool in season three. And then at the reunion, things went a little left. And then after the reunion, especially online, um, Wanda went on a wild attack against Melody, questioning the paternity of her youngest child, right? Which played out um, in season, I believe, four. So that played out um, on television. Um, Melody was accused of being unfaithful in her marriage. We all know that those were rumors that Martel started. And um, we're going to see all of this play out again on the reunion stage for season six. But then we later learned that um, the Scott clan was going crazy because Kiki was coming onto the show. Melody had invited Kiki on and the, the Scott seemed fearful that Melody was using Kiki to say something against them. Well, according to what went down on Monday night, uh, looks like a little more information have been revealed. Kiki said that she was invited onto the show um, to talk about 
a story that her aunt had put out about her. She said that Wanda accused her of the same exact thing she had accused Melody of, uh, infidelity, an outside baby by another man, not her husband, and that Melody had asked her to bring that story to the show. So again, we know that the Scots were flipping out like, she is trying to destroy our family, blah, 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 blah. But Kiki's like, well, Mel invited me onto the show for this reason, right? Um, and she seemed to have had a meltdown as well because um, Anthony Lofties is saying that he's going to share more information um, about Kiki and this storyline. But uh, Kiki is screaming at the top of her lungs about her marriage, about her financial status, about her friendship or what she thought was a friendship with Anthony. I wanted you guys to hear it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the other end. I don't give a F what you say you got. You ain't got shit on me. You know I ain't never told you shit negative about Melody. You know that. So if you want to lie and put shit together and make it sound like I'm, uh-huh, do that dumb shit. People already been hitting me up like, he really expect us to believe, like, damn, I ain't know Anthony was a liar like that. Yeah, he is. And he joined in the no number one liar to lie about some shit so they can put some shit together to try to, you know, uh, do whatever they're going to do. Come with it. Do it. I ain't scared of neither one of y'all, bitch. I tell you that straight up. Excuse my language for the folks who don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. Grandma, if you want to hear, just log off. I'm sorry to you too. But I'm tired of people thinking that they can play with me and I'm going to sit here and take it. No, I ain't that chick. I ain't never been that chick. Don't threaten me, bitch. If you got something to put out, put it out. Do it. But you ain't got shit. You ain't got shit but your miserable ass life. That's all you got. That's why you can't keep a goddamn man. That's why. Everybody know how shady you are with your lying ass lying. Talking about you dated Andy Cohen. Lying ass nigga. That's what niggas do. They lie when they mis miserable and bitter. They lie. So don't come over talking about And I, I didn't watch it. I just, people hitting me up saying, oh, they talking about some man man. I don't know no goddamn man man. I ain't never met a man man in my damn life. Like, seriously, if y'all want to come with some shit, come with some facts, man. Stop playing with me. So either you shut the fuck up, bitch, or stop playing with me. I'm going to put it just like that. Just like that. Don't play with me. I ain't that chick. I ain't going to roll over. I ain't going to shut up. I ain't doing none of that. You done met your match, bitch ass nigga. I'm that bitch who will slap you on your face for real. And get it how I live. Play with me if you want to. Tell me, I don't want to bring up your sis ass. I don't want to bring up no kids. Bitch, you a goddamn lie. You've been waiting to do that shit ever since Wanda said that uh, one of male baby dad, uh, babies when her, um, her Martell's baby and one of my baby daddies. The same shit, same shit, same shit. You think my husband faced by that bullshit? You think me and my, you think me and my kids face by that bullshit? Nigga, spread whatever the fuck you want to spread, you pussy ass bitch. Spread it. Come out with it. I dare you, bitch. How about that? Let's do that. Pray for him and sue him. Oh, I'm just waiting. I'm just plead and I pray to God that when he when I already got the, the the chick on recording, I already got that. It's just that I'm already fighting one big case, so I'm I'm leaving these small fish. You know, I feel like if I go to my lawyers, you know, they working on this big case. If I go to them with these little small, stupid ass, ignorant ass, illiterate ass small fish, they gonna look at me like, you know, oh damn, you know, this ain't nothing. So I've been keeping my peace about it. I ain't even took this to my lawyers. But oh, trust and believe, I got the recording of, of what old girl was saying all this shit, lying on me. Talking about I was fired from my job. I, I was never fired from my job. Ever. Not once did I get fired from my job. I left my job. <laughs> and the killing part about it is everybody around me know that because I had been talking about leaving for two years. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. 
Anthony Loftus need to be handled. Oh, he gonna be handled. Trust. He the, he don't know what I got. He don't know. He he has no idea. See, he thinks because he was able to get a recording. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. That first recording was legit. But now he piecing shit together. But he thinks since he was able to get away with that shit, that he gonna be able to roll over me. No, please, you don't know who you fuck with. Nigga. I'm finna show you though. Keep playing with me, and I'm finna blast your bitch. You don't think I got shit on you? Oh, bitch, I do. I'm just waiting. I'm sitting back in the cut, and I'm waiting. So, go. Let's go. Waiting. I ain't gonna say too much. I ain't gonna say too much at all. But trust, I'm gonna hit him where it hurt. You better believe it. You better. So, good. now you shut the up. Or bring it. Bring it. His obsession with the LM. Yes, he has an obsession, y'all. It's crazy. Even the producers was like, we had to all block him. He is crazy. He stopped us. He was sending us, you know, messages and stuff. Can't none of the producers stand him at all. He don't even know. He hanging himself in this industry that he's trying to be a part of. He's hanging himself. Do you know how many people have hit me up? Telling me stuff? From big people? Like, for real, for real. I would not lie to you. From big people. Hang your shit up. For real, for real. But you playing, you, you playing with a real bitch. I'm going to show your bitch exactly how I get down. Come on. Come on. So why I talk to him then? I talked to him because I thought he was, I thought he was cool. Despite what everybody else was saying, he seemed to, to be cool. You know, but I still didn't really 100% trust him. That's why I didn't tell him everything. He think he knows shit about my life. Nigga, you don't know nothing about my life for real, for real. I ain't tell you the half of the shit I would have told you. I ain't tell you shit for real. Yeah, I talked to you. I, I appeased you. That's all the appeasing I was going to do, though. My mama really fucked up by trusting him with the shit in Houston, which I would have never told him that shit. He called, he ain't cool. I don't even know what that means. He called, he ain't cool with you. We get it. I don't know what you're talking about. Him and Cricket Teeth are saying that your son belongs to a man named Man Man. <laughs> Mel wanted to bring it on the show. Is that true? No, but I, I will tell you what is true. My aunt accused me and Mel of both having outside babies. Now, we were going to explore her line about that on the show. The lies she would tell to try to get her own way. Yeah, we were going to explore that on the show. That's what we were going to explore on the show. So let's go. Let's go. I wouldn't trust no blogging. It was someone else that said something. Someone else about what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Um, exactly. Your mama screwed up big time. So did you by getting too close. Well, you know what? You fucking live and you motherfucking learn. How about that? Okay. I got too close. I learned a lesson. First year in the game. Rookie mistake. Okay. And moving on. Now I'm ready to capitalize on it. Bitch, what's up? You're not the only one who thought he was cool. No, I, I'm not. Because when, you know, uh, even when Mel found out that, you know, I was giving him, I gave this his first interview. <laughs> when I was giving him his first interview, you know, she was excited about that. She wanted him to be put, out, put on. Art Vark and Piano Teeth is lying on me. Absolutely. That's all they do is lie. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anthony is obsessed with Melody. Yeah, now I see. No, Kiki, stop. This is what he wants. Well, you know what? He got the right motherfucking one. If this is what he wants, bring it like I said. Like I said. 
You make mistakes and you learn from them. Exactly. <laughs> it's us against him. That he um doxed you. Hit me up, girl, so I can be a part of your case. Uh-uh. Now, um, let me say this. To my mom and everybody in the damn light. Let me cut the light off. To my mom and everybody who hit me like, you know, um, um, it's a cute little filter. Hit me like, um, Kiki, you know, just be quiet, blah, blah, blah. I did the job wait for a minute. I shut up. and say nothing for a minute. But nah, ain't nobody finna play with me. And y'all think I'm all out at? That ain't me. It ain't in my character. And I'm gonna let you go. Straight up. And you can look me up dead in my eyes. Bitch, bring it. And I mean every last word I said, you pussy. Yep, straight from Professor Kiki. Can, will read your ass intelligently in any business setting. And go to the gutter with you whenever I need. Whenever I need to. Sure will. I ain't got no husband. Okay. This man doing. What you on my couch. Laying up on somebody's couch like that. <laughs> that ain't their husband. I can prove this up with me every night, every day. <laughs> His shit is my shit. His account is my account. His car, that's my car. Don't play with me. You think anything y'all be gonna interfere any, with anything over here? Absolutely not. I run this shit. I'm gonna let you know that right now. This is my house. And he pay for it, but I run this shit. Now what? Now nah, I ain't got to get a job. I ain't got to work if I don't want to. And yeah, bitch do owe me two fifty, and you know that shit. I shouldn't let your bitch. Die. Trying to be nice. Trying to be nice. Why they lying? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, for anybody to say, I'm with you, the uh, Nicole. I've been meaning to hit you up too. Um, he didn't say that someone asked him that, and he didn't say anything. Oh, he's been saying a hell of a lot. Oh, he ain't intimidating me, not one mother bit. I'm gonna let him right now. Bitch, you got some brain gas. And I'm gonna record you. Now you do it. I'm here, both of y'all. I ain't gonna need no. Fucking job. Both of y'all bitch gonna be talking online for me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, you guys, the saga continues. Go ahead and let me know what y'all think about all of this in the chat, okay? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit your notification bell, and I will check you all on the next one.